Audacity's real-time effects have come a long way after it was introduced in version 3.2. During that time, I said Audacity's real-time effect is not very useful due to the lack of good third-party effects. It has changed as Newsgroup released some plugins that are now suited very well. Only some types of plugins are supported yet, but still, it has become very useful. You can preview which kinds of plugins are supported from the plugins documentation. You will get the link to the MuseHub site to download the plugins. The good thing is it is available on all three major OS. I have already installed it, and you will get this icon. Click on it, and it will open the installation helper. You can see which effects you have installed and which effects are available. I have already installed some effects, and you can see a tick mark on those effects. The effects are in two groups, so choose the effect you would like to use. After clicking on the Get, the effect download process will start. Once the download has finished, you have to restart Audacity. My Audacity was open during the download. If I go to MuseFX, the chorus effect is not here. If I restart Audacity, the chorus effect will be loaded in Audacity. I will not bore you with the restart process, as I think you have got the point. I have restarted Audacity, and the cross effect is now appearing. Let's try to improve the audio I have using real-time effects. Let's hear the original recording a bit. In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. I will now add some real-time effects and check how much improvement I am getting. The rest of the video will show you the process. In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Audacity is as simple as pressing this button. Though recording is as simple as that, you have to take care of certain things. I will make another video with all the details on how to use it. For now, I am just showing what I have done. In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Audacity is as simple as pressing this button. Though recording is as simple as that, you have to take care of certain things before you start recording. For example, you have to check. In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Audacity is as simple as pressing this button. Though recording is as simple as In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. That is the latest version during recording of this video.